Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the lightweight championship between Bruce and Mirab. I hope you guys will like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Grace the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. All right, here's the oncoming bantamweight force out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Sarah Longo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie. Been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John. And he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great bantamweights fight for Rob Duwalishvili. You can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressure pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalis Willie did back in 2022. May Rob back under the bright lights tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's his first. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Marab the Machine! There's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here is the wrestler slash grappler, the team Sarah Longo rep, Marab Dwalis, really one of several Georgian fighters that have emerged over the last several years. And you got to think you're going to get a takedown attempt here early in this round, DC. Marab doesn't make any bones about it. The opposition knows what's coming. More often than not, they're unable to stop it. There, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position in the half guard. Lee's back in full now. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pile. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, look at that. Ali 
the grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Making all these shots count. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Lee. This fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Change of the position. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Wallace Willie's in half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. And there you go, again, half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Great ground and pound by this man. <clears throat> Lees has got full mount now. Under two minutes now to go. He's got to start throwing now. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Mm, that was nice. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Dwellis Willard. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Drops down inside the closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, he got to his spot. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Lee's in half court. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Ten seconds now in round one. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes, but not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Superman punch lands. Takedown defense is there. Oh, wow. Beautiful throw. 
inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Now he's going full mount. Nice positional control here. Gotta be careful here. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in his performance. Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Dwalish Rule. Print the shirts. Ground and top. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Dwellish yeah. Willie's back in full mount. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum. Try to go to half guard. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Dwellish Willie. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Under two minutes here to go round two. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, he smokes. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he better start moving. He can't take the man. Wallace really going for the takedown. He misses. Beautiful body kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Job by the champion. Yeah. Nice body shot. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Under a minute to go in the round. Wallace Willie gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Man, how good is this? Game? Oh, the judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loading people up in those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position. And he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Dwalish Willie's in half guard now. Now he's got good body position, yup. 20 seconds to go round two. Side control now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. These ground strikes are starting to add up. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good work from the top here by Lee. He's having his way with him here. Beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Yep, that guillotine's deep. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish, but he cannot rush. He cannot allow his opponent to get to his back. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Dwalish Willie. Oh, big shots from the top. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. We march on three minutes to go. Ooh, nice. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh. Oh, great reversal to top position by Dwellis Will. In the half guard. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Kick is true. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one kick is like the the situation. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Dwalish Willie. Beautiful ground and pound. And that would cut him. Big right hook there by the champ. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Shot finds the target there. Great shot. Man. Now he's got to go find that power up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. 15 seconds. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Dwellis Will. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, he 
grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Okay, we recover. It's all right. Got the better view in wrestling that round. But you are the better wrestler. He's tired now. He the dragon in all right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting, starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next Ready round. Ready fight. Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championships? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Gotta be careful here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get worse. He's setting up a submission attempt. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Well, hard to win fights working off of your back, but that elbow is certainly a useful one. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. This is a terrible position. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Lands a big elbow there. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Single leg takedown is good. Gonna try to take his opponents back here and he does. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, great reversal in top position by Dwellis Will. Using a lot of good movement. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. All 
Hardy's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Dwalish Ruth. Well, shades of Anthony Showtime Pettis against Tony Ferguson just masked in blood. This is not looking good. Yeah, it was, it was like all Ferguson fighters, right? He would just destroy people. And that's exactly what he looks like right now. He looks like he has been on the receiving end of all the elbows thrown by Tony Ferguson. His cut is really bad. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. And now he's got the back. Final seconds. He's got to be careful here. Buzzer sounds hey, for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. We got a cut. He's cut too. We knew this was going to be a bloody fight. I want you to. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Big double leg, double change. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Takes his back now. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. This is where he wants to be. Willie's in half goal. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. You can attack guillotine. He's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being... Oh! Nice judo toss for him there. Oh, right into Mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Armbar set up here. Nice setup on that armbar. What a tight armbar. Oh, the submission defense holds up to get out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. safe defensively. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. 
so much wrestling, so much grabbing, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Not there yet, but he might get the submission here shortly. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Dwalish Moore. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's got to be careful here. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. In the half guard. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. This one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance.